Uh, my name is Sean Patrick Stencil. I'm a nuclear analyst with Greenpeace Canada. I'm in Latin America helping Greenpeace's anti-nuclear campaign. I've been working on nuclear issues for about 10 years now, and I'm a certified radiation protection advisor with Greenpeace International. I think there's three reasons why Chile shouldn't build new reactors. The first is you don't need them, and the world is abandoning nuclear power. Uh, since the Fukushima disaster, the world's third and fourth largest economies, Germany and Japan, are shutting down all of their reactors. What are they doing instead? They're investing heavily in renewable energy. This is where the world's going. Uh, if Chile invests in nuclear power now, you'll be locking into a dead-end technology that major world economies don't want. Chileans don't need that. Uh, the second reason is the accident risk. Uh, we've seen with the Fukushima disaster that nuclear accidents are happening somewhere in the world once a decade. That's a regular event. I've seen Fukushima and I've seen Chernobyl with my own eyes. Those accidents have torn those societies apart. That's something Chile doesn't need, especially when you have better alternatives like renewable energy. And what Fukushima really shows us is you shouldn't build reactors on fault lines. And Chile is on a fault line. And the only way you could build reactors in Chile, I think, is by ignoring safety altogether. Um, and I think the third reason is the radioactive waste that we produced by these reactors. If Chile builds reactors, you need to store that waste for millions of years. That means you're burdening your great, 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 great grandchildren with radioactive waste. That's unethical, and it's also bad for the environment. And for these three reasons, I don't think Chile has a reason to go into nuclear power because there's better alternatives and you shouldn't go into it because it's far too dangerous, unethical, and will hurt generations to come.